वी ऑल हैव ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दैट्स वॉट दे से राइट कि हम सबके पास चौबीस घंटा होता है बट इज दैट रियली ट्रू आपने भी एक्सपीरियंस किया होगा दैट सम पीपल सीम टू हैव मोर टाइम देन अदर्स दे आर एबल टू डू मोर दे आर एबल टू मल्टी टास्क बेटर दे आर एबल टू गेट मोर थिंग्स डन इन अ डे कंपेयर टू अदर्स एंड दे सीम टू बी लेस फ्लस्टर्ड बट हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल वाई शुड सम पीपल और सम ब्रेन्स हैव मोर टाइम and if so how can you make more time that is what we are going to talk about in today's video hi everyone i'm dr siddharth warrior i'm a neurologist and welcome to my youtube channel where we talk about neuroscience and everything if you're new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back samay ko samajhna itna mushkil kyu hai ye isliye ki time ka jo concept hai hum wahi galat samajhte hain for the sake of today's discussion i'm going to talk about two kinds of time एक जो टाइम है वो फिजिक्स वाला टाइम है जो हम मैथ्स के इक्वेशंस में सॉल्व करते हैं द वेलोसिटी मोमेंटम एक्सेलरेशन वाला टाइम ये टाइम बदलता नहीं है ये फिक्स्ड होता है ये ऑब्जेक्टिव होता है ये कैलकुलेट किया जाता है और ये कंपेयर कर सकते हैं बट देर इज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टाइम विच इज परसिव्ड टाइम द टाइम दैट आवर ब्रेन इज अवेयर ऑफ इसे हम सब्जेक्टिव टाइम कहेंगे और यहां पे एक मिनट या एक घंटा इज नॉट अ गुड कंपैरिजन क्योंकि व्हाट इज वन मिनट फॉर मी कुड बी वन आवर फॉर यू फिजिक्स हैज ट्राइड टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बट सो हैज न्यूरो साइंस एंड न्यूरो साइंस इज कम अप विद एन आंसर व्हिच इज अटेंशन अटेंशन इज व्हाट मेक्स अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन परसीव्ड टाइम फॉर यू एंड फॉर मी आपने आइंस्टाइन वाली कहानी सुनी होगी इफ यू स्पेंड वन आवर विद अ लव्ड वन इट विल फील लाइक अ मिनिट but one minute on a hot stove will feel like an hour this is because when you are with your lover your attention is completely on something else and so one hour can pass by like that but when you are on a hot stove your attention is completely on every second of torture kab khatam hoga kab khatam hoga and so your minute gets expanded in other words attention can make time expand and distraction can make time constrict or ek din mein aap kitne distract hote ho what do you think in an entire day how much time do you spend day dreaming thinking about things that have nothing to do with your work at hand jo kaam samne hai wo chhod ke tumhara dhyan sab jagah bhatakta hai isi ko day dreaming kehte hai na studies have shown that on average we spend close to 40 to 50% of our waking time day dreaming इसका मतलब है कि दिन का ऑलमोस्ट आधा टाइम तुम्हारा डे ड्रीमिंग में चला इन अदर वर्ड्स वट एवर इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइम यू थिंक यू हैव ओनली हाफ ऑफ दैट इज अवेलेबल टू यू सब्जेक्टिवली सो इफ यू थिंक यू हैव टू आवर्स टू स्टडी थिंक अगेन यू एक्चुअली हैव क्लोज टू वन आवर बिकॉज वन आवर विल गो इन डे ड्रीमिंग एंड दिस पार्टली आंसर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दर आई आस्ट हाउ डू सम पीपल मैनेज टू हैव मोर टाइम these are people who have figured out how to day dream less and to spend more attention on the work at hand to isko hum solve kaise kare how do we hack this problem for this you have to understand two things one is attention and the other is something called default mode network which is a part of the brain now attention is like a lighthouse wo sab cheezon pe dhyan deti hai jo bahar hai aur jo andar hai and every time your attention is outside you are doing productive work but then you get distracted and then your attention goes inwards which is where the default mode network kicks in and that's when you start daydreaming and after you're done daydreaming your attention will swing outside again and again you are paying attention to the outside world now imagine in this spiral you only get half the amount of time because half the time is gone in your dmn network so the way out is to make sure that your attention is hooked to things outside and spending less time daydreaming and here is how you do it i'm going to give you a framework to work with now remember that this framework is a suggestion and i would want you to modify this according to your life your preferences so that it works best for you here is my framework i want you to divide your day into five different slots slot 1 is for sleeping because this is the most important one slot 1 will last for 8 hours and it starts at 10 pm on the previous day and ends at 6 am now you might think why slot 1 for sleeping i have realized that having a good productive day actually starts the night before and having good sleep is prerequisite to having a good day 
which is why I will call sleep as slot 1. Slot number 2 starts at 6 a.m. and goes on till 10 a.m. So this is where you do things that contribute to you, your health, your creativity, your art, your personal growth. This is where you can take walks, you can go for a run, go to the gym, exercise, swim. You could read things that you like, write, journal, you could play badminton, tennis, anything that you want to do for your own personal growth. Slot number 3 and 4 are for your professional work. So 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Now, depending on what kind of work you do, you can structure this differently. The way I prefer to do it is slot number three goes for self-work, where I work by myself. I do research, I write down ideas, things that I like to do in my own time, but for my professional life. Slot number four is what I keep for teams, for group meetings, for collaborative work, for working with other people. And finally, slot number 5, which is 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., is where I keep for social life. This is where you connect with your family, your friends, you meet up for dinners, you have game nights, everything that you do to build social relationships. Now, the beauty of having this framework is that you can slot things in the day to different windows. And as you keep playing with it, you can even make sub frameworks. Matlab, Ek -ek block ke andar, you can make smaller blocks of time for individual things. Now, why is having this framework or any kind of framework important? It's because now your brain has something to work with. It has a rhythm that it can get used to. And now your attention is fixed onto an internal clock. And one of the best clocks to sync up with is the circadian rhythm. Yani ki jo natural world ka cycle hai, day and night, isi cycle ke saath sync up hona is best. So your brain is always aware of what time it is, what block you are in and what you're supposed to do. Because remember that the more your brain is aware of time, the more time becomes available to you. And that is how you make time. Try this out. Let me know how it works. All the best to all of you. Cheers.